Good morning, everyone. My name is Paul Coleman, and I'm the Social and Digital Manager at Tourism Northern Ireland. Thank you all for joining us this morning for this webinar, which we've called Growing Online Sales Through TXGB. The Tourism Northern Ireland undertook a 12-month pilot of a platform called Tourism Exchange Great Britain, or TXGB, in 2022. And as we're about to find out, TXGB connects tourism suppliers with distributors, helping businesses become bookable online for the first time, access new routes to market, and manage their commission costs. Following the success of our pilot project, we're now rolling the platform out more broadly, and we plan to onboard at least 200 businesses during 2023. We're joined this morning by Dan Simmons, Head of Growth at TXGB. Dan's going to give us an overview of what the platform is and the benefits associated with onboarding. He'll talk about our journey to date and how you can get involved as we move forward during 2023. We'll open it up for discussion and questions at the end. So please feel free to drop any questions into the chat as we go through the presentation this morning. Dan's going to chat for about 15 or 20 minutes, and at that stage, we, we, we will open it up. So, Dan, at that point, I'm going to pass over to you, and you can take us through your presentation. <coughs> thanks, thanks, Paul. Thanks for that introduction. And <coughs> yeah, we're um, we're really excited to be um, progressing past the initial pilot and into um, really trying to make a difference for tourism businesses across Northern Ireland um, in using the Tourism Exchange platform. And so, as Paul mentioned, my role at THGB is to broadly look after um, growth and how we can help our partners get more value out of the platform and bring new routes to market to help them grow their business. <clears throat> so I've got um, a few slides, like as Paul mentioned, and, um, and really, you know, then we can get into a discussion. I can answer any specific questions that anybody has. So today I'm going to cover broadly, um, you know, what, what is a tourism exchange? Who is it for? You know, who, who, which types of businesses are we um, able to support with the platform? What opportunities are available? We're going to specifically talk about um, the, uh, the opportunities to be bookable through the Discover Northern Ireland website. Um, and then we'll talk through how to get access to the platform and, and any next steps. Um, so, you know, our goal is to support tourism businesses across Northern Ireland by looking to open up as many um, new opportunities for more sales channels to access as many potential um, uh, access for, <clears throat> for you to access as many potential bookers as possible. Um, and we do that. And, and the reason we exist um, is because there are um, so many different booking technologies out there in the market. You know, we know that there are um, 100 or so businesses that have joined the webinar today and um, in looking at your <clears throat> reviewing um, the businesses on the platform um, on the on the webinar we can see that you know there are over 30 or 40 systems in use and, and that just gives you a really great sample size and um, uh, um, and articulates very cleanly the challenge that we have in that you know for any um, route to market any sales channel any tour operator um, uh, travel trade, etc., trying to access unique product um, that you offer. It's, it's the challenge is there in that there are just so many different systems to connect to. It presents quite a fragmented and, and challenging marketplace, um, and so that's why we exist. We're looking to try and centralise and solve that problem so that it's easier for um, sales channels and third-party um, distribution partners to access your product. Gives you more choice. Um, what's your the kind of control in your hands in terms of the sorts of partnerships you want to um, to uh, uh, enable and to activate, um, and ultimately help you grow your business um, in a in a more cost effective way by being able to you know you know test and learn as you go and access ultimate access um, more consumers, um, and in turn you know that helps us it you know create innovation in the market um, whether that's looking for domestic um, opportunities or inbound in tourists um, yeah, we're, we're, we're really excited to to um, as we as we grow and enable more and more opportunities for you um, and of course in, in doing that we you know a big part of what we're doing is helping 
destination websites, whether that's national um, opportunities like the Discover um, platform or you know, regional council websites, and we can get into some of that in a second. And of course, in turn, that gives us the opportunity to gather insights and intelligence around the, um, the tourism landscape in Northern Ireland to help inform decision making at a national and regional level as well, um, which is um, added value here. And, 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 and also what we're doing um, is helping you know, smaller operators or or um, or maybe businesses that aren't yet book, online bookable, um, you know, come to market and um, and get started online. So, um, as Paul mentioned, we've we've started an initial pilot. Um, we've we've had a pilot of twelve months. Um, that was following a successful launch into England with Visit Britain um, um, towards the end of twenty nineteen, and we've also recently launched with Visit Wales as well. So we're, you know really um, excited about the growth and of course as we create more collaborations across the market in the UK and Northern Ireland that helps us um, uh, get more businesses using the platform and create more opportunities um, and so kind of what is you know how does THGV work so this diagram has helped try and kind of simplify that message ultimately we are um, connecting by a central kind of marketplace platform an easy to use dashboard interface we are doing the hard work to connect your ticketing systems, if you have one already, to our exchange um, centrally, and then create like a one-to-many opportunity for you to access more sales channels, um, and ultimately make it easier for visitors to book things and, and more simple for you to access um, those visitors. So, um, you know, we're here today to talk about experience providers, but the tourism exchange covers um, both experiences and attractions, but also accommodation. Um, and we're, you know, progressing into transport, into retail, into restaurants, events, and so on. So we really want this to be seen as a, you know, sector-wide initiative to help um, bring to people together and, and create, you know, collaboration and innovation. Um, what's important to really you know consider and think about um as we as we go through this journey is that every tourism business is different every you know the, the position you're in your you know um in terms of the systems you use or your online booking capabilities as it stands will be very different to the other businesses on the phone your um uh, thresholds in terms of commissions and 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 so on will be different and so we take a very much um, a um, one size does not fit all mandate here. We know that some of you will be looking to get online for the first time. Others will have really well connected ticketing systems already, and we're looking to complement those. We're not looking to replace any existing systems. You know, we believe we strongly believe that everybody will find value um, in in THGB in, in some way. So um, I suppose just to quickly. You know, touch on some of the opportunities that are already available through um, tourism exchange platform for experience providers. Um, this slide is a, um, an example, you know, a good example of some of the main channels that we uh, are already making available to you. So the likes of Visit Britain's um, retail platform, which is a great um, inbound um, uh, channel, um, the likes of DaysOut.com that is uniquely available through the TX platform and, and others on that on that list. And then some of the big channels like Viator and TripAdvisor that you might want to you know, connect your ticketing to if you can't already. Um, we're also able to, we've been able to um, activate some really unique um, opportunities like um, the World Snooker Tour using our platform for fan travel. Um, um, and we know there was a, you know, an event in in Belfast and, and that was um, a really great opportunity for people to get part, be a part of. We're very um, soon going to um, <clears throat> launch our Google Things To Do um, connection, which is will be um, a commission-free way of um, listing your tickets on, on, the Google, on Google search, which is, you know, we know a kind of a new initiative from Google and we're really excited to be able to make that more widely available to um, attractions and experience providers. So just to quickly um, spend a bit more time on the Visit Britain Shop um, initiative, because that is also a channel that is only um, available through the Tourism Exchange platform and something we've been able to 
um, deliver um, um, on behalf of Visit Britain. And, and, and what's been quite, I mean, in terms of success stories, I suppose, so far, um, there was a national lottery campaign, Camelot partnered with Visit Britain um, towards the end of 2021 20, and into 22 during the shoulder season and saw you know, millions of pounds worth of transactions go through the exchange for that campaign. And it was, you know, enabling consumers to have a free days out and and we were able to allow you know attractions that couldn't otherwise access that opportunity um get into that and and there's currently another campaign um giving 20 pounds away to consumers for the same and we're seeing a really great return for the partners that are involved in those um in those opportunities and you know we see we expect that sort of rhythm to continue so it's a great example of where we've been able to make a difference for experienced providers that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get without the tourism exchange initiative in place um so i mean i suppose that's talking about some of the um uh channels that we have uh access to um but you know what we want to also want to share is the way that we are enabling you know actually enabling direct booking via your um destination website so we've partnered with um paul and the team at, um looking after discover northern ireland.com um and in doing so, we've been able to uh, um, enable, uh, you know, a book tickets widget on the Discover website. That means you can activate your listing um, and catch consumers whilst they're on the Discover website and and get them to make bookings. But ultimately, that booking is happening directly with you, and and nobody is kind of getting in in the way in terms of um, uh, handling the, the the money or. Or, or managing that booking on your behalf. So really excited to be able to bring that initiative to the Discover website. And also you can see there, we've listed a number of local destination organizations and, and councils that um, we are in, um, in discussions with or have started to launch those partnerships. Um, and, um, and of course, we're looking to you know, grow that network of, of council opportunities um, as well um, uh, over the next few months. Um, and so just a little bit more on, on that. So um, by having access to TXGB, by connecting your ticketing system, you're able to click a button to opt in to the Discover Northern Ireland opportunity. Um, that is a commission free channel. There are no charges to use that. It obviously increases the chances of conversion of bookings when anybody is you know, on the Discover website and viewing your your listing um, and um, and it's the first time that you've been able to share your live inventory and your live product um, data um, on, on the website and, and activate um, your listings. So we're really excited about that. Um, we've seen destination websites and um, in other um, regions we work in um, create you know create really strong value for their for their members and their partners um, through these initiatives. One thing to note there is that um, the way we enable that direct booking is through an integration with Stripe as a payment processor. So if you wanted to be involved in that initiative, you would need a Stripe account at the moment, although in time we will look at other payment processes. Um, but yeah, Stripe is the way to activate that at the, um, um, at the moment. Um, Paul, it might be worth jumping in at this point just to explain a bit more about um, why that's a positive thing. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Um, I mean, the in, enabling industry partners to become bookable through the Discover Northern Ireland website has been a big leap forward for us during our pilot project over the last 12 months. We've successfully onboarded a number of businesses, both experience providers and accommodation providers, to the website. And effectively, what we're doing there is the product listings that are already on the Discover Northern Ireland website, we're enabling those to become bookable via TXGB. As Dan has said, we, we, we've taken the very clear view that discovernorthernireland.com is a 0% commission platform. So we, we are not earning any commission on those sales. Industry will pay a 2.5% booking fee to TXGB plus, as Dan mentioned, the payment processing charge via Stripe 
but we're not charging commission on top of that. The piece with the councils that Dan referenced is obviously with a view to trying to build a network of distributors across the destination. And during our pilot project, we engaged with a number of the councils to enable bookings through their tourism websites. As we move into the second phase of this project, we plan to broaden that engagement with the councils and, and hopefully over the next few weeks, pick up those discussions again with, with a view to trying to, to really broaden out that network. So visitors landing on any of those websites, hopefully in the fullness of time, will have the ability to book regardless of where they, they, they first enter, whether they first land on Discover Northern Ireland or, or whether they find their way to visit dairy.com, for, for example. So this, this is a big push for us and um, really follows up a lot of work that we've done on the Discover Northern Ireland website over the last couple of years. And it's something that we are really keen to progress with now over the next couple of months as we move forward with Dan and the team. Brilliant. Thanks, Paul. Um, <clears throat> okay, so um, just to, I suppose, the next point <clears throat> really is, um, you know, how do we how do we get involved in this and how do we connect your ticketing? Because of, ultimately, this is all about connecting live inventory um, from your existing systems um, that, that you use to, um, to these channels um, to help kind of create more opportunity for you without additional overheads where possible. Um, and so, you know, our, our plan and our, 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 our journey is to look to connect the market. You know, we want to connect every ticketing system um, that we're able to connect to the platform. And we, we are already connecting to a number of the major ticketing systems um, that are in use, as you can see from this slide. Um, Recognise there are some systems that aren't on the slide um, yet that are important for the region, um, and uh, in the most part, we'll be already talking to those system suppliers. And, and in some cases, we're not able to deliver those integrations, and it's something that those systems, you know, have to complete themselves. And that's a journey we're on, and you know, um, positive um, engagement from their from users really helps with those conversations because. You know, of course, every system provider wants to do what's right and what's important for their, their users. So, um, yeah, we expect this list to grow. Um, uh, well, it will keep growing. Um, and so if your list system is on that list, then it's very easy for you to integrate to TXGB. You can just go through a simple kind of sign up process and connecting your system and um, data will uh, bookings will flow back into your your own your own diary. Um, you know where your system isn't on that list. We have a, um, I suppose a, a, a interim um, opportunity. Uh, so we um, we have a tool that we term TX Load, uh, and TX Load really serves two broad purposes. It is um, to um, help you still get access to opportunities um, in the event your system isn't connected yet. And our goal is to connect systems um, uh, as, as, as quickly as possible. We recognize that that's a journey we're gonna go on. Um, and so, yeah, that's a free tool that you can use if you don't, if your system is not yet connected. Um, and the challenge there, of course, it does, does have a separate diary system um, to manage. So that's something that you need to review and we're happy to discuss those on an individual basis with any experience provider. Um, and, and of course, the other use case for, for TX Load is for those businesses that are getting started online and that are interested in um, trying online booking or getting access to some of those opportunities. Um, our team will always recommend um, uh, our, you, the, um, the systems that we are connected to that we think would be a good fit for your needs as a, as a business. Um, but um if you're looking for a um a way to get started and trial this then tx load is a is a useful um, um option 
that's a quick uh, view of what the back end of TX Load <clears throat> looks like. Um, but also it gives you the opportunity if you are getting started to um, to activate your own websites as well. So um, we can provide booking pages that allow you to get direct bookings. At, um, again, at no, at no cost. Um, and if you don't have a website um, and you maybe work on a Facebook page or, or something, then you can, of course, link these um, these pages to, to that as well. So it's a, a way of you um, getting started um, online if that's if that's kind of your your current um, position. Um, and so uh, I suppose just to summarize really that, those points, um, this is all about helping you access more channels and more customers without extra admin where possible, um, helping you move away from maybe a previous um, model of having to allocate product um, and get access to certain channels um, where that's been tough, especially with you know, increased use of time slots and those sorts of things. Um, make the most of your destination website listings, so get involved in those bookable campaigns. Um, and ultimately, you know, increase direct bookings where possible and save on commission through some of those low cost and free channels. Um, and it's a really, you know, really easy system to join. Um, there are absolutely no kind of upfront fees or subscription costs. So Paul mentioned our 2.5% service fee. Um, so we charge that per booking and we collect that on a monthly basis. Um, that helps us continue to grow our network. Um, but there are absolutely no other costs in, in this from our perspective. So you only, um, you know, this allows you to have a real kind of test and learn strategy to distribution um, and, and only pick the channels that, that work for you. Um, and is certainly not a replacement for your existing systems. Um, we are in the process of collating some really great um, uh, testimonials and um, quotes from <laughs> businesses we've worked for within the last uh, year within Northern Ireland. So, um, um, you know, that's a quote there from a, a, a supplier in, in England, but they, you know, really showed, talked to the value of being able to consolidate their, their ticketing into, into one system and, and, and optimise commission. So we thought it was a great quote to use. Um, and so I suppose just finally to say that, you know, we really feel like we're just getting started here. You know, we know this is a long term strategy. Um, we really want to understand from businesses in Northern Ireland the sorts of channels and consumers that you want more access to or easier access to. That might be domestic, it might be trade or inbound, it could be um, tour operators or group bookings um, and you know what we're looking to do is um, you know understand those needs understand where those gaps are and and create more opportunity for you to you know grow your business so um, that's I suppose where I'll finish um, in that respect um, just finally to say that um, you know we have an onboarding and support team that are here to help I'm happy to work through that initial kind of setup process and support you in picking out those opportunities that we think would be a good fit for you um, and if you're interested and you want to sign up then pop to our website and there's a get started link um, and it's a really easy form to to fill in to to um to join um i know we've got some questions in the in the chat and um and some that were um submitted before the call so it'd be great to um to get into those now, but I hope that was useful. Thanks, Dan. No, that, that was very useful. Um, perhaps worth emphasizing as well, Dan, at this point, that there, there isn't a minimum contract period for industry partners that want to onboard to TXGB. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So, you know, this is a completely flexible platform that allows you to access um, channels as and when you, you want. So there is no you know, expectation on you selling a certain number of tickets through the platform. There's no, expect, there's no minimum length of contract. There's no subscription cost or setup fees. There are no support contracts. This is about creating an open agnostic marketplace that allows you to you know, pick and choose the channels that you want to work with. That might just be the Discover website. Um, it might just be starting on your own website if that's the position you're in. Um, 
you know, but we hope you'll see more and more value as the platform grows. Um, and, um, and, and yeah, um, there's a there's a huge. I mean, what we haven't shown there is the number of opportunities and other channels that we that are in flight that we're working with that will continue to grow. So, um, yeah, yeah. And, and I think throughout our pilot, Dan, we we probably saw quite a broad set of experiences where there were providers who just chose to distribute through Discover Northern Ireland, for example. There were also providers then who used the platform to access other routes to market right up to Visit Britain Shop. For example, and, and participating in campaign through, through the likes of, of Visit Britain. So, so there are tremendous opportunities here. Um, with regards to questions, Dan, what, what I might try to do is, is perhaps consolidate some of these questions because I think as, as I read through them, a lot of them are touched in on, on, on similar areas. Um, you've already taken us through the connectivity piece, but the first question really which I think is is key for a lot of people really is is the which booking platforms are compatible with TXGB and in particular we have a question here about um, connectivity with Fur Harbor. Yeah so um, I might that question might have been asked before we got to that slide so hopefully we've answered that in in, in doing so but um, I mean we'll share these slides i'm sure afterwards um yeah we've connect we've connection to to fair harbor um that is a um so a really really easy route into tx very simple way of connect linking your fair harbor account and so if, any, if your system was on that slide then you can now get access to thgb and, and connect your tickets and if it wasn't then you know we'd, we'd you know we'd love to talk to those systems and i would encourage you if if you if you can't see your system on that list just have a chat with your system provider um, and ask them if they have a, a plan to to connect to the, the tourism exchange um, network and, and of course feel free to um, do an introduction um, to us. Dan are there specific distributors that may be of interest to outdoor activity providers? <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, of course, I think there's you know there's some really interesting um, channels that we're working with that focus in that space. So there was a um, there's a new brand called Wilder that was on this slide that are um, focused on outdoor experiences, and they're just finishing their integration with us. That might be a um, a really interesting new um, proposition. But of course, a lot of the channels that we work with that work on days out are, are interested in. You know, experience provide. Um, sorry, outdoor experiences. You know, whether if you're not already selling through your TripAdvisor account, for example, that might be a a good one to link up. Um, and then, you know, the likes of DaysOut.com are looking for those unique experiences and, and have got a new channel to come to market. So, um, yeah, I mean, again, it's a real test and learn initiative. And what's great is, you know, use our platform as the how and then speak to some of those businesses that are available on the platform to talk about their their offering and and um, and, and pick the ones that fit for you. Dan, how can micro enterprises, and the example here is a niche business that is offering Celtic music and story experiences, how can a business like that make the most of TXGB? Yeah, I think you know um, that you know great great type of product, and what we've seen is that you know destination websites, local and national destination websites, really really work for those unique experiences that are in a region. Um, people that are coming and visiting a certain area that are looking for something different to do, um, you know that 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 sells really well. Um, but I, you know I wouldn't look. Um, you know I would just again it's a similar sort of you know point to the previous one. You know this is an opportunity to test and learn and. Speak to the channels that we can link you to, and and find out what they can do for you. Yeah. I, I think to draw on the experiences of the pilot project, we were successful in in onboarding a number of walking tour type products, and I think we were very successful in in generating sales for businesses of that type through Discover Northern Ireland. So to your point, Dan. 
the, the, the destination website could be an easy entry point there and, and as you say a bit of test and learn really and see is there an uplift in sales on on the back of becoming bookable through discover um there's a point that, that's come up a few times as well dan um as we currently only have a small number of dates available on our website is it still worthwhile onboarding to pxgb <clears throat> Yeah, and I think you know the, that I, I get. I think that doesn't really impact. You know, it's up to it's up to you, I suppose, in terms of the um, the likelihood you are to you know already sell those tickets and all those tickets through you know your direct booking. And if you're looking to extend your reach for those events, whether they are every day or few and far between, then there are distribution channels that can support you in, in, in doing that. So. Um, you know, happy to one of those one of those conversations is probably worth a, an individual chat about um, your your the systems you're using, the, your needs, and and our team can absolutely help guide you in the right direction. Okay, we, we we've touched on it, Dan, quite a few times. Uh, um, there there are a number of questions around the cost element of the platform and the commission element of the platform. Is it worth perhaps just reinforcing that point again? Yeah, sure. So, um, so we said that T TX um, has no upfront costs. It's a very much a pay-as-you-go platform. We charge 2.5% for our fee. That's per booking. We um, collect that monthly, ideally via a direct debit arrangement. Um, and that's the only fee that we take and um, it's taken um, at the point of um, sorry monthly at the point of the booking um, so um, in terms of other fees that are involved in the platform um, if you work with some of our direct payment partners like the destination websites and where stripe is involved in those cases there's a merchant services fee for payment processing that's a common thing for online booking something you'd need to factor in stripe um, commonly charges around two two to three percent um uh depending on um the type of credit card that's used basically you can see that detail on stripes website um and then of course the other fee is where a you work with a partner that isn't using our direct payment model so some of those or online travel agents like visit britain days out um TripAdvisor, etc where of course they're going to have their own commercial arrangement with you and we are um, just providing a service to link your um, inventory to their system and a lot of the time you know some of our partners like um, love to visit days out and visit Britain shop have factored in the THGB fee into those equations so it's worth um, worth exploring Okay. So just Thanks, to Dan, and clear, Stripe, Stripe is only used in the context of the destination websites and other direct channels. Yeah, that's that's correct. And to, to reiterate, with respect to Discover Northern Ireland, Tourism Northern Ireland aren't charging any commission for bookings through that website. It'll just be the 2.5% booking fee for TX plus Stripe. Yeah processing fee um okay th th there are some interesting points coming through on the chat um just around the role of tx as part of a wider distribution ecosystem um quite a specific question here if, if you onboard to txgb but you also sell through your current supplier in this case visit belfast how do you manage sales i don't oversell yeah so um i mean that is a question that really draws back to the system that you use to link your tickets to visit belfast so in that case um if you're using a system that isn't on our connected partner list then you know you, you would have to be i suppose con cognizant of the fact that you know the diaries aren't aren't syncing up in that case i mean this is not a replacement for the way you sell your tickets through visit visit belfast in that case um this is a supplementary service if your system is connected to tx then 
there is no chance of overbooking because you know a key feature of this and the importance of this is that it's always live inventory always connecting back to your diary system so that you you know can take bookings in real time and not overbook or or double book um and so that's a really important point of how we cre create enable these partnerships with the, with the systems um if that system if the system that you're using isn't connected and you want to access some of our channels then you know the tx load option does create that potential challenge or risk that you need to be aware of where it's not linking back to your diary and therefore you have to be aware of you know that kind of challenge of overbooking but of course you can look to carve out allocations or or segment tickets to try those or maybe look at taking off sale on those third party um in, within our system within a period of time before a booking or, or something to give you a bit of peace of mind there but ultimately the plan is to connect all those systems together so um we'd be really interested in following up um and uh, with the systems that you're using there um and and also just to say we're working with um we've got a conversation with visit belfast in a few weeks um paul and i to um, hopefully look at whether we can um work together more closely so um dan another one we, we've we've started setting up txgb for our standard daily experience is there any possibility of doing one-off events through tx rather than using a platform like eventbrite for example yeah i mean there's no real re reason why you couldn't do that we've seen we've had um uh the TX load tool used for one-off events um, through through the years. We had some great kind of festival of the art type products and circuses and um, you know com comedy events or um, uh, theatre type products. You know, local, small local theatre um, loaded directly into the system to be sold through the destination websites. That has been a really successful um, model where you're able to you know use the power of your destination as marketing for what's on and be able to you know sell directly on on those websites so yeah events are absolutely on the on the table and, and something we're happy to support dan there are a number of accommodation businesses have joined all this morning just reading through the the, the questions that are coming in and i know we we have a a session this afternoon with accommodation providers but it's possibly worth just trying to address some of these points now as well. Um, does the platform work with the Edge Channel Manager, which a lot of the hotels use? Yeah, we're not yet connected to the Edge. We know that's important in the region, and we are um, active in active discussions with with them about how we can bring that connection to the area. We know that they're really interested in particular, like many ticketing systems and um, property management systems in um, the needs and the value to their users. So it's easy for me to talk to uh, a, a system provider and explain why TXGB should be an important partnership for them. But of course, they probably get that from a lot of places. And it's, you know, obviously always has more weight when it comes from a from a, um, a hotelier or, a, or an attraction or experience provider directly. Um, so we'd you know we'd encourage you to talk to those systems um, and um, and just kind of I suppose back up the value and the needs from your perspective. Um, but yeah, from a DH perspective, you know we really do hope to bring that one onto the system soon. We recognise it's important to the region. Dan, there there are a number of questions in a similar vein with regards to to various channel managers, and I think what we might do potentially is follow up with those businesses offline sure. because some of the questions are very specific and, and we perhaps need to maybe just take those away and understand um the, the, the ins and outs of all of that and, and we can pick back up with those industry partners who've who've asked those particular questions um have a look so we, we have a glamping business here so as we provide glamping and rooms along with activities we need a system that allows both in the same platform so customers can have their complete visit booked in advance is this possible using tx um okay so there's 
um, I mean, we have probably something to talk through in detail with the, so it'd be great to get that question um, and who sent it afterwards, Paul, and we can arrange a follow-up conversation. Okay. Um, the, the um, you know, every system that connects usually is focused on one or the other, um, accommodation or experiences. Um, but of course, we are consuming both through our system and making it available um, for to distribution partners. So those are the, those sales channels um, in one in one go. So there might be an opportunity to, you know, link two different systems together um, and receive them both and, and and sell them in some kind of um, package fashion or kind of itinerary builder. But um, there are complexities there that we probably want to just discuss directly. Um, Okay, that's fine. Um, is Airbnb and Booking.com compatible? Well, we're connected to Airbnb and Booking.com from an accommodation perspective, um, in terms of um, linking, uh, you know, the diaries to um, sell rooms uh, and so on. We're not yet integrated to either of those for experiences, um, though definitely on the wish list. There's a point here around um, the mobile version of the booking system requires the user to enter a specific date when searching for availability. The desktop version shows weekly availability. Are there any plans to change the mobile search facility? I, I, I'm not sure if that's with respect to Discover Northern Ireland, for example, and how that booking widget works. I think that's probably, sorry, Paul. Um, I think that's probably linked to how the TX Load booking pages work. Um, and I think we should say at this point that you know TX Load is is there as a relative um, entry level um, solution, and and for sure um, there are some things we could you know change or enhance in that in that tool. Um, I think if it doesn't do so, we are looking. We will always look to improve and optimize those services. So that's something that, for sure, we will look to do um, in time. It'd be great to get some direct, some specific feedback there, um, and share with our product team. Um, but you know, of course, what we'd like to do is make sure that you're using the right system that fits for you. And if you know, using one of our connected partner systems is preferred. As long as it links to us, then that's okay. And you know, we'd 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 help you make those decisions if the tools that we provide with that kind of free system aren't on completely right, you know. So yeah. Um Dan, does the TXGB platform integrate with accounting platforms that businesses might be using? Um, do, does THGB um, integrate with accounting platforms? Yes. Um, so uh, <clears throat> I think what we probably need to differentiate there is that THGB is not looking to be your full point of sale system or um, or um, replacement for your property management system. It's a, uh, a middle tier ticketing, um, sorry, channel management solution. So um, we don't integrate with any Kind of specific accounting solutions but you know i suppose in that scenario it's a good example of where you'd look for a ticketing system that can fulfill those needs from a reconciliation and accounting perspective and and tx is the you know the kind of ancillary service to access more channels and, and that's where we want to really focus on being the you know the access to the market um, rather than those other features Dan, this is a similar question, and, and I think you've just made the point, actually. Um, hi, Dan, we currently use Checkfront. Would we completely change over to TXGB? Well, you know, we've had some um, really positive conversations with Checkfront, um, and um, and we know that uh, they are interested in an in integration um, with us, and um, that's some probably something probably to follow up with them directly, if I might previous comment but you know that's really up to you to, to make a decision on whether you know you want to transition away from that system if that's the right thing to do based on your needs and um, you know happy to again look you know help support in that decision making by you know talking through the different systems that are connected to us and and which one might be the right fit based on your needs. 
and I'm just scrolling through. Um, there's this a follow-up question. question. Oh, sorry. Follow-up question, Dan, just with respect to Fair Harbor, which is a connected system to TXGB. So, um, mm -hmm. it's to do with the commission on that booking. So, uh, do, do you want to maybe just talk to that point, Dan, around the commission payable to platforms like Fair Harbor and how that relates to TX? Yes, okay, so I can see that question um, asking about the fact the system the system is Fair Harbor and just understanding whether guests book with them and, and how do the how does the commission work? So you know I think you look at Fair Harbor as the the source of your own diary system in the way you manage your direct bookings. Um, if you then connect your Fair Harbor system to TXGB and then to connect TXGB onwards to, for example, Discover, the consumer is booking with the, um, the, the B2C or B2B channel that you've opted into. So no, no consumer will connect book in that case with TXGB or Fair Harbor. They book with the, the channel that you're working with. So let's say Discover, they're, you know, they're booking on the Discover website, the consumer. The consumer doesn't know about TXGB and doesn't know about Fair Harbor in those scenarios. But in the case of those direct bookings with Discover, that booking is flowing into your Fair Harbor system, even though the consumer sees that they're booking it on the Discover website. Um, and so, from a commission perspective, I mean, every booking system, every ticketing system has their own commercial models. I couldn't talk to Fair Harbors, but um, you know, same rules apply from a commission perspective. Um, you know, we charge two and a half percent, and then there'll be a strike fee if it's a direct booking. Dan, what, what I might do is, is perhaps pick up some of these more detailed questions offline and, and maybe just pick back up with the providers because there are some very specific questions that, that I think warrant a, a more detailed response. So perhaps if we, if we pick those up offline we, we, between your team and mine, we, we can go back on all of these questions and just make sure that we're, we're addressing all the queries that are there. Um, yeah, sure. I, did, I did notice that there was a question on reporting and invoicing. And so, you know, um, just to say, so that was um, with all sales that go through our existing system, is there a way to track how many sales have come through THGB? Um, so the accounts can be reconciled and, um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's um, possible. So, we have a reporting module within THGB, and um, and you can, you know, easily report on um, bookings that have happened through various channels through that module. But also, you know, most systems or all systems will receive those bookings in, and I would expect you be able to differentiate in your own reporting system. But you know, certainly there's a way of separately reporting on THGB bookings. And, and to, to build on that, Dan, and, and it's perhaps a good stop point really for, for this morning anyway but one of the pieces we didn't really talk about in any detail is, is is the data applications of tx and how businesses that have onboarded are able to access quite a rich pool of data through their dashboard do, do, do you want to touch on that quickly yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, I suppose it follows on to the previous point around, you know, from accounting purposes, but the data that we're capturing in a GDPR compliant way is um, is all available through the TX platform. And so you're able to um, use that, in, that insight data to you know, understand, you know, where your consumers are um, coming from, how far in advance they're booking. Um, you know the types of average booking values, sorts of products that are being booked, um, and when, and and all that stuff. So there's, you know, there's a real strong um, data set that allows you to generate insights, and that's fine. That's good at an individual basis, but also at a regional and national level, it's going to help us really drive, you know, really strong, deep insights in how the consumers are behaving when they're booking product in region, and, um, and that's yeah, super exciting. So I, I think 
for the purposes of of this first session this morning we we'll perhaps leave it there. There, there there are so many questions i don't think we got through them all but as i say we we will pick up on each of those and and come back to our industry partners who've asked those questions i i think in summary just to to close it out the slide that is on screen at the moment really is the next best step if you're interested in finding out more about the platform based on what you've heard this morning if you're interested in in onboarding and using the platform to access some of these routes to market the next best step is to pick up with dan and the team dan has a specialist onboarding team available on his side who are standing by to, to help you work through any of these specific queries that you have so just just to reinforce that point again the, the information on the screen is is the, is the best next step so i think at that point we we we'll probably draw a line under this morning's webinar um and, and just to reiterate if anyone requires any further information you know feel free to reach out to me directly if you want to to push ahead and on board pick up with dan and the team and they're they're ready to go so thank you all very much for your time and i hope you found that session helpful this morning thank you thanks very much